for authenticating microservices using DWT, first of all we call the logging API with the ID and a password. This request goes to the authentication server and a proper JWT token is generated. And then in our further request, we pass this JWT token as part of the header. So if we want to call customer service, we pass the token as a header. And then the request is verified at the API gateway level by the public key which was used to generate the JWT token and the signature of the token is verified and once the signature is verified the request is allowed to go to the corresponding microservice and the response is received and suppose for example if you want to call another service which calls another service and returns again the request will go and first get verified at the api gateway level by using the public key and then the api gateway url of the another microservice for example product will be called again the signature will be verified and then you know the product service will be called and after collating the response of order and product service the response will eventually be returned to the end client so this way you know authentication happens using public and private key in a microservices environment.